interesting about the history. So remember, when you do, um, if you draw the moral, if you if you see these questions in the uh, final exams, remember for access, you, you have to describe for the external access, not the access. Because I saw some students uh, just wrote down access. So actually, you have to uh, describe clearly that this is external access in the model. All right. So. Uh, you may have, you may see this question in the final exams or in the, the, the questions may, maybe it's like the draw what is the tourism the hospitality precincts model so you have to draw the whole models all right and and also for each components here you have to um, remember the definition of each components so refer to your lecture in week three to um, to 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 have the uh, definition and also. Don't forget the, the relationship in the moral lies, the arrow, the arrow lies, the arrow in the morals as well. Okay, relationship. And remember, um, there are some common zones, there are common zones between the two circles, I mean the two, two components. Okay, that means there's some place, a certain place can be, can be identified as the contraction, either Contraction or CBD services, or uh, or certain place can be identified like the, either CBD services or essential services. So there are some common zones between these components. That means there's some place you can you can you can place it into the CBD services or the essential services or contraction. So the most important thing is you have to justify, you have to explain why you put the place into a certain components. Okay, you have to justify yourself. So no right and wrong, no right and wrong answers for the for for being for putting the place into the uh, uh, certain components. But the most important thing you have to justify it and you have to explain. Just that you have to explain why you put the place into the certain components. Okay. Is it one zero zero five? People and places, yeah. Because uh, today I just replaced uh, money for for the session. So I know you. So you work with me, just in person to the Um, you come to this group. So because we have the group work for today, so just come from this group. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So all of you got it. So this 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 model is very important. I'm not fine. I'm 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 not. 100% sure that this will have fun in your final exams, but I'm pretty sure that it's 70, 60 or 70 percent is the there's some questions in the final exam ask you about the tourism and, and hospitality precincts model because this this model is in, very important for this course. Okay, so next one, next one. So you uh, turn turn around to turn turn back into the. Uh, the second page of the paper I gave you. So you need to um, refer back to your field trip and you uh, place, I mean, you fill in each column with the, place, with the places you visited during your field trip in the Brisbane CBD. Remember, here we ask you to fill in the precinct of Brisbane CBD. So you have to place. You fill this table by using the places you, you observed or you visited in the Brisbane City during your field trip. Okay? So walk in group again and do this exercise. Okay? So then, let's go. Off you go. Okay, so you can in this group as well. So this is the paper you So we turn back into the first one is the, the tourism history precinct model. So the second one is you use, guys, you use the future notes or future instruction to fill in the table. Okay? So after you finish about 10 or 15 minutes, I will ask each of you to describe one component here and explain why you put the place in that component. <coughs> 